diets to lose weight fast now if you're looking to lose weight fast probably one of the fastest ways to lose weight is one of the diets you'll see out there is HCG diet and what this diet involves is that what they do is they give you an, a daily injection of a hormone it's called HCG it's a hormone that you only find in, in pregnant women and this this uh, was basically a protocol that was taken from the 1960s and uh, and this was basically to help you uh, lose weight now you have to take daily injections of very low calorie less than 800 calories a day now while I've seen some people have results on that I think it's more so from having such a low calorie intake more than the injections uh, but I, I, I got to think that this diet is very hard on your body so this is not something I'm gonna recommend okay uh, another one that you've seen a lot of is the low carb diets you've seen the Atkins uh, Mediterranean uh, all those different types of uh, diets the zone they're all a, a, a derivative of a low carb um, diet uh, the challenge with the low carb is while it uh, uh, helps you reduce weight it long term it's really hard to stick to where you're not eating uh, where you're eating as low carbs is what they're wanting you to do long term and uh, the, the challenge is once you start eating those carbs again uh, your body responds by you again gain that weight again so you know for, for me uh, one of the things that I've seen that I have to take a lot of interest in is uh, concepts from the low glycemic uh, concept more than a diet is a more of a strategy of eating where you you can look online you do a search low glycemic foods and uh, what you do is um, you're going to eat less of foods that are higher glycemic and if you're going to try to make better choices with foods that are lower glycemic because they have less of an impact on your insulin on your sugar because insulin is a fat storing hormone okay so the more body the more insulin your body releases the more it is that you're going to gain weight okay so by eating foods that have a less of an impact that give you help you keep more of a steady blood sugar throughout the day are going to help you uh, you know reach your health results help you to lose weight faster and then keep it off it's not sometimes how fast you lose the weight is that once you get to that place where you want to be it's been able to consistently keep that way off and uh, I think that low glycemic concept is a, a very good concept uh, you know uh, as far as sweeteners uh, give me an example sugar is probably your, you know sugar is gonna be the on the top scale as far as glycemic foods it's gonna be the top of the top so you can find alternatives like Yukon syrup Yukon has almost zero effect on the sugar and uh, on your sugar and as far as releasing insulin in fact it actually helps reduce your sugar levels uh, has some benefits of helping you lose weight that's as far as a sweetener that's great um, if you need something sweeter though don't be afraid to use a real uh, honey don't go to the grocery store and all that stuff is just sugar syrup maybe a little bit of honey you got you you want to find you a good source even maybe find a local honey uh, raw is great and uh, just want to make sure you don't give it to you know less than two year old kids and stuff like that especially if it's raw and all that nature and there's a lot of vitamins and minerals and all that different type of stuff in that raw honey I uh, just want to be mindful of the um, calorie impact from eating um, honey and uh, but eating a little bit of that it's you know it's a honey is a magical uh, food even though it does have a higher uh, glycemic index but uh, for me the strategy that I found that has worked the best is a to do one hour of walking real simple just one hour of walking uh, or some kind of exercise uh, for at least five days out of the seven days a week okay starting that day off okay so for, for guys especially your hormone levels are going to be the highest around nine o'clock okay uh, so incorporating uh, get, getting some of the uh, the, the bands uh, you can go to Walmart there's like a $10 band 
uh, and uh, you can use that for resistance workout just like that's got two handles and this big rubber basically band type thing and you can use that for resistance uh, workout and that's going to help you as well as you build muscle uh, to lose weight so you can incorporate that but just simple walking one hour a day just really gets your body uh, in that uh, that place where it starts to burn calories get your energy levels up if you got more energy you're going to be less lethargic you're going to be uh, sitting less on the sofa on the couch watching TV you're going to have more energy to do the things that you want to do uh, it's amazing how fast a result you get by just simply walking um, you know and it's just it just affects your whole body to something that simple and um, you know and then once you do that in the morning uh, ideal time is probably seven o'clock in the morning uh, do an hour uh, then you want to wait about an hour you know because after you stop blocking you know, your body's continuing to burn calories so you want to try to still burn off some of those those stores in your body so by waiting an hour before you eat uh, you know that's a great thing eggs are an excellent food but the concept here is is five meals okay now this is more of a temporary thing for 90 days long term you don't want to eat five meals the reason being every time you eat your body releases insulin and insulin is a fat storing hormone so for long term it's, it's not going to be a good thing but for short term it's a great thing that's where the balance is between should I eat five meals a day should I eat seven meals a day three meals a day uh, you know once you get closer to your goal three meals is really where you want to be but for right now five meals a day so you wake up in the morning you do the hour exercise and then what you're gonna do for 90 days you're gonna split up your meals okay 300 calories a day not a day 300 calories per meal five times a day okay and uh, you might want to eat something small but you know but right before you go to bed maybe like eight almonds something like 80 to 100 calories uh, a banana something like that a lot a one egg um, and the total calories 1500 the only thing you you can eat actually with this because you're training your body to actually try to burn fat uh, you know add things don't worry about adding things like uh, coconut oil uh, find you a good raw cold pressed uh, coconut oil you can go to Costco Sam's Club and they they have some of the best deals or you can look online and see who's got the best deal on that type of stuff um, even butters find that um, you know because you're training your body to burn fat with this so what the only things you want to stay with especially for 90 days you want to stay away from white flour is it's pretty you know you probably knew some of these things you just may have never put them together but you want to stay from white flour and white sugar okay um, some things I don't like is uh, that I would recommend also stay away from anything that's soy based uh, you know because I to me everything I read on soy I mean it causes cancer uh, you know most of it's GMO uh, genetic, genetically modified so it just really wreaks havoc on your body unless you've got a soy that's from a fermented base like it's a fermented soy product uh, I definitely uh, do not uh, recommend uh, you know soy at all uh, I think it's going to impede um, your weight loss first coffee goes limited one a day one cup of coffee a day the reason being is that coffee does have an effect on how your body releases insulin and so limit to that one time in the morning kind of helps you get get that uh, get you going and uh, if you're good you know try to uh, either eliminate sugar or use something like your con if you have to use honey uh, in your coffee uh, if for a creamer don't use coffee mate don't use that type of stuff don't use ha even half and half the best one and it's gonna be higher fat content but lower carb is gonna be heavy whipping cream not only is that gonna be better for you but it makes your coffee taste so much better uh, you know some of the the, the more paleo uh, you know coffee drinks are great as well you can take uh, you know French press you make your coffee and then what you do is you take a blender blend your coffee with butter awesome taste I mean, especially if you got your own coffee on coffee beans uh, and you grind them yourself and you use a French press and then you, you mix it with that butter it's a it's a, that's an excellent thing uh, especially if you got a good coffee bean uh, especially with a single origin which is you know you're looking for coffee that comes from smaller bat batches and less commercialized uh, you're gonna get a, a better product and 
um, you know, with something like that. And uh, but anyways, th that that's what I recommend: the five meals a day, the hour in the morning, 300 calories uh, a meal, uh, a snack break before you go to bed, 80 to 100 calories, and um, you know that that's the way to go. Okay, and you you know there's a lot of diet plans out there to lose weight fast. And then you'll, you'll have find other articles out there. This is healthy diets to lose weight fast. Uh, then you'll see diet uh, detox diets, lose weight fast. And then you've got, you know, uh, it'll show a picture of, you know, diesel or, or one of the Van Diesel. And it says, celebrity diets, lose weight fast. And they're, you know, doing some crazy stuff. And, um, you know, just stick to the basics. Uh, you know, figure out why is it that I'm wanting to lose weight. Ask yourself that question. What is it going to do for me if I lose weight? What is that, that going to do for me? If I'm going to lose fat? How are my energy levels are going to increase? Well, how many more things am I going to be able to do with my family? How long am I going to be able to stick around because I'm getting healthier in the process? So establish a why for why you're wanting to uh, you know, do a diet to help you lose weight fast. And then uh, what is your strategy to help keep that weight off fast? So. Anyways, I just want to talk about that for a little bit here today. Thank you for listening to my uh, listening to my video here and uh, my podcast. And uh, I look forward to uh, uh, talking to you more in the future. Thank you.